Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Morning. Good morning. Are we live? I think we are. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so where were we? I totally don't remember anything. <laughs> it's been like too long. So let's see where we are. Okay, that beginning is a little bit annoying. Okay, no, that's better. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so <clears throat> I guess we have our little scene here. Nothing in it really. I um, think we were at the point where we are able to move the objects that we placed and rotate them. Okay, that's good. Only thing that we will need is to. Whoa. Yeah. Um. Oh, that will maybe make more sense actually. If if the menu is open, we hold the object and move it. Instead of like pressing the move button. We have to open the move button. Yeah, that was way more in yeah, intuitive, instinctive. I don't know. I clicked on it by mistake, so I guess that's a better control. Yeah. So maybe I can do that actually. So if I'm holding it already, I just want to start moving it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that, actually. On top of the button, maybe. Yeah. So if people have the button, they will probably use it if they like it. But if they don't, um, if they don't like it, they can use that it's instead. Sorry. OK, uh, that was one thing. That's not really what I wanted to do, I think, but we can do that. We can do that. Uh, that's what probably what the next thing we're going to do. Anyway. Um... Mm -hmm. Tonight. Okay. Uh, how is it working right now? Start mo moving actor, I guess. Is it the function that it's called from the drag and drop? Maybe it is. Uh, complete moving actor and unmost drag in the spawn manager. Unmost drag. Oh, no, this is the drag drag. That's fine. Complete. Hmm. I will need a start somewhere. Where is the start? Is it in the UI? I'm gonna go see in the spawn manager. No, where is it? Where is it? But an actor, buildable actor. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, that thing here. <coughs> Start moving actor. Hmm. That could be interesting to put it in there though. Uh, maybe not because it's not the same. Yeah, never mind. Okay, start moving actor when we start to drag uh, we could probably do the same thing if the user hold the same actor twice that could be good so we can probably do that actually um okay so what if what if what if what if uh, mm -hmm. okay so it's gonna be the same here, I guess. So we have to register to both things. So we're not going to do this one yet. Um, any actor old doesn't exist yet. So we're just going to go get that. In the pawn, I think. Okay, we're going to create an any actor old. <laughs> so this is gonna be a wild actor. Wild 
<laughs> okay, that's good. Good, good, good. So uh, then we have to go to the hold action and we can just like hold it. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's held. I don't know my English. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> okay, hold. I don't the figure. Valid. Oof. Uh, valid or not? Do we care? Um, I think if it's, I think it doesn't matter if it's valid or not. Or maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, do we want to do it first or do it second? Let's say we start holding something. Uh, um, we actually want the actor to know first, I think. So we're just going to do a sequence here. Sequence. First, notice, notify the actor. Second, notify everything else. What the heck? This is an actor object? Yeah, that's not good. Uh... Oh, it's a tap actor. Oh. <laughs> so this is actually just an actor, like a simple basic actor. We can do that. We can do that. Or no, actor. Should be good. But the same thing here. Actor. This is a basic actor. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> yeah, this is probably what was causing the problem here. That I don't remember what it was, but it was probably a problem something somewhere. It was probably a problem. So here we go here, um, and then we can go back here. Refresh that node. <laughs> Remove the link and connect it. That should be better. Okay, good, good, good. So now there's that notifier here. And then if we go back in the spawn manager, it should be wrong because of this. Um, which I don't care about that. Uh, any actor held, assign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just gonna do something like that. Um, something like that. And then if the actor to edit is the same actor as this one, if they are the same, we want to start moving it. Let's do that. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for inputs, let me know. Because uh, I'm not, it's the first time I'm doing like that kind of game, so I don't know which input will be the best in the end. Uh, for now, it's just all guessing. Um, start moving actor to edit. Oof, here we go. So if it's the same actor, I want to move it. Let's do that. See how it goes. So. Move around, that's good. Hold, doesn't do anything, that's good. That one. Oh, that's weird. Because the actor is affected first. Oh, but then it has to go back into a moving state. That's the thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because um, it's in an old state, but then we want it to be a moving state. I can probably do something here. Ah, uh, that's not good. Um, 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that these things cannot return something. Can they? No, they can't because it's multiple actors. It would be stupid. Um, I could make like a. Uh, I don't know. I don't. If I make like a circular dependency here, <laughs> could be fun. Um, or maybe not actually, because the spawn manager is already called here. No. No. Hmm. Where is this called? Reference viewer. Okay, it's used by a mode which we don't care. Main drag and drop and all the UIs and stuff. Okay, so that's actually good because the pawn doesn't have any dependencies on that thing. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> so we can do a little something actually. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing this, hmm, we can just have a an event here. Mm hmm. <laughs> or 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 we could just turn this back into no i think direct message is gonna be better for now then we'll see what would change in the future so uh, maybe we're not gonna use these for now just yet and then we'll see and then um oh maybe this can return something nah i don't think it's gonna help okay so we want to do that and then we can Get the spawn manager in the big and play. <laughs> here, and then when we hold an actor here, spawn manager. <laughs> uh, how can we which function we can create um, in there that will be uh, hmm. we can just call it right away like would be make way more sense like order to edit if it's equal to this thing So, if it's the same, we want to go in moving state. Because we are going to move the actor, so we have to be able to move the cursor too. So that will be something like that. Um, but if it's not the same, hmm, we might want to do something else then. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so we might actually still need to have the the events and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep the bindings that I just removed. Um, is it faster if I just control Z all that? 
Hey, good morning, good morning. Hi, hi. How are you doing today? Here we go. So we now have the spawn manager, so we should be able to do everything we want to do. Um, these don't matter for now. Just gonna skip them because it's made pre break stuff. So 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 um in the spawn manager nope in the pawn I just want to make sure that if we hold an actor we're just gonna call the right function which is not the case. Uh, so we wanna start moving. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we might actually want to inverse these just because it's getting messy. <laughs> if it's not equal to the actor that we are currently editing, we're gonna go into an holding state. But if it's the same, we want to move and uh, move the actor that we are currently editing and go into a move state. That's cleaner. <laughs> Let's see if it works now. All the actor going to oh yeah, that's bad. That is bad because yeah, because of the order. Because this is called first, and then it's gonna be uh huh. Mm -hmm. that's gonna be always true whatever i do because this is set first so it's gonna set the value to like to, to edit and then only then it's gonna um, be an actor which actually <laughs> this can return something though we are holding the actor and then the actor is going to be responsible to return something kind of something that is um are you which state do you want to be in hmm that could make sense so this thing here do we want to return stuff <laughs> Uh, where is the actor? I just want to double check. Uh, where is it? Where is the actor? Oh, too much trouble. Just gonna get it here. Here we go. That thing. It's a buildable actor. Okay. Um, interface. Stop old. Okay, I don't care. Actually, yeah, that's because the other ones are implemented. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, oh no. 
Oh, uh, are you trying to learn Unreal or trying to learn coding or are you an artist or what are you doing? Because <laughs> if you're trying to learn and you have like some questions, you can just ask me. I can probably help you. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm super bad at 2D art. <laughs> yeah, like I, um, I studied in art for a bit. Like actually, uh, all my studies were in art, in in 2D and 3D, mostly 3D actually. So yeah, and I, like all the other people uh, uh, in my class and stuff were like super good at drawing and animating and stuff in 2D. I'm just, wow. I wish I would be that good, but that's nice. Like, to the artists are important, super important. Mm -hmm. So now you're interested by Unreal, with Unreal Four. Like, are you planning to make a two D game or just, uh, or it's just that you want to know how it works, the basics and stuff. To maybe if you have a job somewhere that uses Unreal. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, okay, I have to figure this out. Um, if I could always save it first, oh, that's going to be cheap. Okay, same. As previously, uh, as currently active or something, as current to edit. So, if it was the same, uh, 
Uh, if it's if it was the same, we're just gonna go into a moving state. That's a little bit messy, but I hope it's good enough for now. Actually, it's gonna be good enough, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that should work now. First holding spawn the menu, second one. Oh that's Yeah actually we don't want to go into moving state. Why was I thinking that? It's the actor that should move move. That's weird. Why is that oh well. Uh okay that's Okay, so I don't want that. Well, I was trying to do something that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay, so this is just overridden. So when we edit the actor in here, that's only where we want to do that, actually. Mm -hmm. TV commercials, 2D storyboards, animations, animatics. Uh, writing a script. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, Unreal is more and more used in like TV stuff. Uh, if I can say it like that. Like um, the first real job I got was uh, for, actually it was for 3D animation uh, show for kids. It was awesome. Uh, yeah. We started to, like, we had to build a bunch of tools and stuff to integrate the animations. It was pretty nice. And the result was super good, actually. In my opinion. Like, I mean, it's not, not everybody's gonna like the same style, but I, I thought it was nice. Like, we had good artists. So, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's a, I think it's a pretty interesting job or, uh, yeah. How to say that? Like it's a pretty interesting career. Yeah. There's like good challenges that you don't have in Maya or in 3D Max or like any animation. If because you're doing stuff uh, pro, pro, uh, uh, procedurally, yeah. Uh, when doing procedural things, like there's like a bunch of con like extra. Uh, limitation but i i think it's nice to have that i don't know uh, some animators just don't like that or artists in general because they just want to make something pretty and stuff <laughs> but then uh, if they give you like a, a huge mesh like four millions or or more polygons for like a tiny tiny apple or something and they are like no oh, i mean it looks pretty in maya but it's way too big for unreal it's probably gonna be better with Unreal 5 though, like since they don't seem to care about body count anymore. Or same thing for uh, like high resolution textures or uh, 2D assets. Yeah. Or just huge environment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so if it is the same as the currently actor, not the current actor, where are you editing? What we want to do is move it. So when we request to edit an actor in the scene, 
if we detect that it's the same as the previous one, the only thing we want to do is um, edit it, like moving it. Oops. And if it's not the same, we want to make sure that it is valid because if it's not valid, well, it's not valid, so you cannot do anything with it. Um, and if it's valid, we want to uh, do everything else. Uh, or actually, no, if the actor to edit was valid before, we want to complete the edit before setting the new one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we probably want to use is valid like this instead, even though it doesn't matter. It just removes one thing. Okay. Trying to keep it clean a little bit. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so let's hope this will work. I'm not sure. Okay. Why is it not moving though? <laughs> it was moving before, but now it's... Hmm. I actually don't understand. What's the difference between um, what is the difference between clicking on the UI? Ah, oh, this event is not called. Oh. Oh, oh. How can I do that? Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see. <laughs> we add some, yeah. Uh, I guess like you're gonna do the blocking and stuff. Like just basic, really basic, not really animation, but mostly uh, uh, just positioning the characters and then sliding them around like. We had some pretty interesting uh, um results <laughs> from that but yeah it's pretty important <clears throat> oh yeah uh, like a little bit after that we worked on a project uh with a different company we worked on a project without any like um storyboarding or animatics or blocking or anything so the artists actually like the producer asked us to uh, do pretty much what they wanted like so they gave us directions but then since nothing was planned all the timing was weird and we wasted a ton of time because of that um yeah because every, every time like yeah what's that oh, okay that's nice that's nice make some one more cap that's nice okay so yeah that's more than just sliding <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because we had like a, I, I only worked on the kids show, so we didn't have any mocap or, because they were like animals, all the characters were animals, so we cannot really like mocap a monkey or something. Maybe we can, I don't know. Did someone do it, do that <laughs> already? <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> oh, can I? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. I never looked at the. I never really looked at the library, Mixamo library. I mean, I, I tried at the beginning uh, when I was at school to get some animations, but yeah, most of the time I I liked I, I like doing my things myself. Um, so, uh, but it wasn't that great like it was a few years ago. Uh, so I don't know how uh, much it grew since. Because uh, everybody's talking about that, so I guess they have more and more animations and models. <laughs> but yeah, even though I'm not good at I try to do everything myself. Mm -hmm. The the results are most of the time just me, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's more than before. Can we get search for an animal or something? Combat adventure sport, superhero. Mm. Not really, but yeah, there's probably some animals because there's like, um, like with the cat rig, the the cat rig default cat rig should they they should support it I think. Ah, uh, you have an animal biped here. Hmm. Yeah, in their characters, there's no quadruped things, animals, or anything. No. Maybe it's just because it's just a website. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I should probably take a look at that more in details. Like, just to know what's in there. It's the same thing with the, the material libraries. I don't remember. Quicksell, I think. Um, yeah, I should look at these two because more and more people are using them with Unreal. Can I start a drag and drop operation randomly? Constrict drag and drop operation. Can probably do something like that. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> Whatever, this should be fine. Mm. Not sure about that, but we'll see. No, doesn't work. Because we probably need to call it when the mouse button move uh, drag and drop here and drag detected, yeah. Under detected and then there's no like on move or something. Mouse button down. These are just the buttons. They take drag if pressed. I can maybe do that, but I don't have the mouse event. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. 
Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we do the same thing? Mm, if I go in the phone, maybe, maybe there's something somewhere I can hook myself in there. Uh, Uh, if it's moving, touching or moving here, maybe a holding two will be good. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Since I mentioned rapid prototyping and blocking, a lot of these story script happen inside houses. So I'm trying to like, figure out a way to build procedural house interior. Okay. Uh, you mean in 3D? Yes. Um, and what do you mean exactly? Like placing stuff inside? Or... Um, because you can always have... Uh, okay. Um, so a generator. So you would have like different... Uh, different meshes that you want to place around okay yeah um it will be a bit of work i think because hmm how can i you need to find a way to specify what can go where um Hmm. Wanna try something right right now? We can do it. We can try something. I'm just gonna do a new level. We'll see what I can come up with uh, in a few seconds, a few minutes. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna create a new level from here instead because I want to have like some lighting and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna save it here. Boom. Uh, sure. Actually, I'm gonna test. Uh, feature likes. No room. Type of room. Number of objects per room. Size of rooms. Okay, so you really want to build a big house thing. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Because there's like multiple layers of that uh do you want to also have the exterior of those or just the interior because if you want the exterior also that's a big yeah and then you have to specify the a way to generate the rooms uh do you just want them like pasted by side by side or uh with like corridors and stuff there, there's like a bunch of settings um yeah i think that can be a pretty big project um oh yeah you can do the same in your uri can I check that maybe they have like a Um. 
Huh. Uh, I'm a little bit interested. Like it's a, it's the, pretty much. It looks like the game I'm doing right now. Like it's a little bit related, but um, it might take a little bit of time though to do. So I'm not sure. Uh, Because if you want like a really good system, it's difficult to uh, create. Actually, it will take a bit of a bunch of time. Uh, but I don't know if there's like already something like that in the Unreal Marketplace. I don't know. Yeah, there there is for the exterior, but it seems pretty basic, uh, basic stuff. Procedural room. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem. Oh, this is free. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> uh, but that seems pretty simple. Yeah, no, it's not really what you want. Um, because, yeah, uh, I don't find anything that could be useful. Um, but, 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 if, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Because it's probably more to build dungeons and stuff than building houses. Uh, so, yeah. But the assets part inside the rooms, it's pretty simple, I think. Um, because you just have, like, different types of asset that you can place and then like you can place multiple anchor points here and there and like just randomly pick one and whatever uh, and then you can define some basic rules like uh, you want two windows per wall if possible you want like uh, one chair two chairs uh, around the place or something yeah um Let's see if we can do something quickly. Uh, BP house builder or whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to close everything then. We're just going to have a little bit of fun for now for two minutes. Okay. So um, we're going to start by just like having one basic room and then we'll see. Uh, you can probably like do multiple rooms and then like paste them between each other or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just keeping it simple for now, just to see. Uh, it's gonna be 10 by 10. Oh, it's a little bit big, I guess. Six by six. Oh, no problem, no problem. It can be fun. I am interested, interested to see uh, if I can like figure out something super quickly. <laughs> That's more like a little challenge. Um, no, I don't want that. Oops, position was good. Uh, X is going to be 0.1, it's going to be 6, and then whatever, 6. It's way too big. 
Boom. Six point one. So let's say you have a room. Ooh, not this one. Ooh, it's a nice square. Okay. Super basic. Um, and then let's say, let's say, let's say. You want to define some places where you can build things in there. Um, I think this part, yeah. Because the, the part where generate rooms that are going to be generated, like the interior is going to be generated, might take a little bit more work than just placing stuff around. Um, but yeah, let's see if we place stuff around real quick. So we want to have some basic assets. Maybe we can, uh, let's see. We can have like a, like a chair. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's going to be a super thick or whatever. It's fine. It's going to be a big chair. Yeah, that, that could work. Yeah. Let's go with that. I agree. Just use simple shapes. It's going to be faster, I guess. So different colors. Uh, I was just about to create like basic blocking chair table and maybe a wall thing. Um, okay, material, 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 well, and colors, we're just going to create a basic material, which is going to be a vector parameter here that I'm going to call color. And then everything else I don't actually care. I'm going to probably like just cancel these just because okay by default it's gonna be black but then we can change the color yeah we can probably do something quickly like that uh so let's see let's say we have a chair so this is gonna be a chair oops my grid is too big oof this is a chair and then the chair is going to have like the color on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to just start by just having stuff. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a good start. And then we'll see if we can do something. Uh, set param on material. Color to color. Okay, bold, very bold. Good color. Yay! So now we have everything to set our mesh. Uh, by default, the alphas can be full, but whatever doesn't matter. So let's say the chairs are like yellowish. Here we go. And then like table. Table is going to be bigger. Let's see and why. Uh, X and then let's see. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, is it higher than a chair? No, it's just a cube. It's fine. So the table is going to be, let's see, this. But yeah, if you, um, yeah, it depends what you want to do. Because this can be, uh, yeah. I I'm thinking that this can become a big project uh, really quickly. Like you can have different sets of things that you might want to use. Um, my tables are huge compared to the room. So we're just going to scale the room a bit more. Uh, maybe. Huge room. 
There we go. Whoa. <laughs> that will make more sense. Okay. So this will be like chair, 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 chair. You can predefine like some basic setup, maybe. Uh, or maybe you can probably uh, also just have some anchor points. So, um, let's see. Let's say I have a table. We're going to start with the table. Like, we have a table. The table is going to have, like, four chairs. So, we can add the chairs in there. Chair. We're going to... So it's going to be like this set of chairs and then like that maybe and then maybe we can um, decide how many chairs we want so we can probably like uh, chairs count for the table. <laughs> so we can get all the actors like them. Uh, set visibility to false. We're gonna hide all the chairs and then for any count of chair. Uh, for loop. <laughs> Minus one here. So we're gonna generate multiple like locations for chairs. Actually, we're just gonna hide or show the chairs right now. Uh, it's the simplest way, I guess. So we can probably do that. So for the chairs here, we are gonna generate the loop count. And actually, we're gonna probably make them into an array. So we have a nice list here. Promote to a variable. Chair list. So we're creating a chair list. We're gonna setting everything, set everything to hidden. And then what we wanna do is get that chair list. Get random int. random int the max is going to be the length minus one and then we're going to get that chair and set it to visible maybe this is like this is really basic it's not uh, it's not the complex behavior that's going to make sense if you know what i mean it's like super basic uh, so getting the chair random randomly picked in the list and then setting it to visible and then we want to remove that chair from the list since because of the way this word chair And then actually it's more random chair. Here we go. Like that. Whatever. Um, okay. So like that. So getting a random chair, setting it to visible and then removing it from the list. So let's say we want to have one chair two chair three chair four chair two chairs one two two can i i could have like an option just to um, randomize mm -hmm. like just one button here to randomize it so it's a little bit glitchy but yeah 
So it picks randomly in the four chairs. So then like when you place it in the world, like every time you drag it, it's gonna generate a new one because it's in the construction script, but whatever. Uh, that's not the important part. But you can do uh, the same thing for the room. So let's say we have like a room here. And what you can have is like different places where you can put the table or maybe uh, just add different table. It's in there and choose the same thing. Uh, if you want to uh, randomly get the, uh, randomly generate the table. So uh, because it's going to be faster, I'm just going to do the same thing right now. So it's going to be like the tables. So let's say we want one table here, there, there, and there. And then in the constructions, I'm just going to use the same logic as I did in the chair, but in the table for the chairs. So I'm just going to copy that whole thing, put it in the house builder thingy. So this is going to be the um the tables I'll just compile this so this is like table uh, tables random table and then table count so then in the world let's say we want to have like one table two tables three tables four tables so then you can decide how many tables based on the layout. Um, and then if you want to add like different things uh, on the walls, you can do the probably the same thing. Uh, and then if you want to, let's say, add um, a TV or uh, a sofa, Maybe we can, because you don't want to add like the couch at the same place as the table. So maybe you want to see if which table is spawned so you can spawn the couch somewhere else. So let's say you want like these two tables, but you want to have like one couch uh, over there, here, with a TV like on the wall. Uh, you can probably do that or maybe the TV on the other wall here. So maybe we can do that, but it, yeah, to, to achieve like a big system that would handle all the possibilities, it's a big job. Uh, it's not the quick thing. Like it's not complicated, it just takes more time. Because the more uh, conditions you're going to add, the nicer it's going to be. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Yep, yeah. If, 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 if. I, I just want to do the tables because it's fun. It's not the table, but the, the couch. Um, so maybe the couch is going to be on a wall. Like, let, let's say for the this example, we're going to make sure that we place a TV. And then if there's a TV on the wall somewhere, we can place the couch in front of the TV. So it's going to start by the TV and then goes to the couch. So maybe TV. So this one here is going to be TV. I'm going to put red. Uh, it's going to be maybe more rectangular, something like that. Um, it's, it's a big TV. Whatever, that's all good. So the TV here, uh, the pivot point is completely messed up. Actually, no, it's not. It's just because I, yeah. Okay, let's say I have a TV here and you want to be able also to put it on the other wall, but that's gonna be easy to do. So let's say we're gonna spawn some TVs. Um, so in the house here, 
Uh, right now we're gonna have all our tables because we want to see them and then TV count. So we can just add another actor here, which is gonna be a TV. So this one's gonna be here on the wall. So let's say we have these choices and maybe the other wall here. Here we go. So these are the TVs. In the TV, we might want to add a couch. So we're going to add a couch. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's fatter, a little bit bigger, maybe. A couch is pretty much like a small table, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we can just set the color to whatever, purple. Uh, okay, and then in the TV, we can add the couch as a child actor, Boom. which is going to be a couch. And this one's going to be like lower than the TV because the TV is going to be on the wall. Uh, how does that look? Uh, it's pretty much the opposite of where it should be. So I'm going to move it. Actually, we can. Uh, oh, no, 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 not here. We don't want to move it in the blueprint of the couch. The couch is fine. It's in the blueprint of the TV. So let's say I open the world here. Let's see how it looks. So I can place the couch, let's say, here maybe. A little bit higher. Something like that. Here we go. So we have our couches. Okay. So now we don't want them to be touching the tables. So actually these TVs are not valid because there are tables here. So the only TV that can be spawned is that one in the other corner. So we could add a condition to do that. Um, how can we do that? So the table is not useful. Actually, we could just simply check if there's already something there. Uh, it's a little bit cheap. Um, or, 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 or we can probably invalidate some stuff. Uh, How can I easily hmm yeah actually I might actually just uh do is cheap for now. Can I rename here TV? Just gonna be simple to see TV two oh, no. Or so uh, if there's something there, don't spawn, something like that. So uh, we're going to do the same thing for the TVs. Oh, wow, so cheap. <laughs> it's like the fast way, but not the best way to do it. Uh, so get the TVs. Come on, I want the TVs. Come here. Thank you. Here instead of the tables, we can just like duplicate that TVs random TV. <laughs> random TV, random TV, random TV, random TV, okay. And then TV count. Boom. Okay, so uh, something like that, uh, because I know that they are all they all have collisions. It should work. Uh, we're gonna spawn the tables first, and then we're gonna spawn the TVs. If the couch is touching one of the table, um, we won't spawn it. Like we're just gonna cancel the thing. Um, so yeah, we can probably do that. So TV. 
hide all the TVs, um, get the TV count for how many TVs we want, get a random TV, set it visible, remove it, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we just want to add another condition here with the random TV over uh, random TV. Oh, we have to get the component. So child actor cast to TV because I know it's a TV, it's going to work. Get mesh. Actually, can I just over lap? It is overlapping. Hmm. Maybe we're gonna have to add some more code in the in the TV. So we're gonna go get in the TV. So what we're gonna do is if the cube uh, Actually, it's mostly the couch that's the problem. So might actually just wanna add it in the couch or maybe just in the TV because they are together. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the overlap event's gonna work in the editor though. Hmm, maybe it's not. So maybe it's not the best way to do that. Okay. Uh, so let's say we have four spaces. Mm. Hmm. Trying to think of an easy way to do it. Because we have everything in here. We don't want to spawn these TVs if the table there is good, it's already spawned. Usually we will tap like a bunch of anchors here and there and we know what is what. Um, but in that case, hmm. Actually, yeah. It's interesting, because if here, if child actor one, two or three, a zero, one and three, if these are visible, they're going to affect the TV. Uh huh. We can probably, oh, we can make it super simple. Yeah. If I put the TV child of the table that is getting a uh, GPU, I don't know, I have a basic thing, I think. <laughs> what GPU am I using? Mm -hmm. It's probably written in there, I guess. Processor, no, 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 no. I don't see anything. I'm not a big hardware guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you see it or it's somewhere else, maybe. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, nope. Not that, not that. Thank you. What? Okay. I don't know why it didn't open, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, processor. Hmm. Ah, 
NVIDIA GTX 1060. Yay, got it. <laughs> Damn, took a while. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't care as long as it works. <laughs> um, but it's a no dish computer. I've got it since three years ago, I think. Four years, three, three years, two years, two, three years. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Good. If, if it's good, that's good. <laughs> Cause I, I don't know. Like I, I have a friend that builds my computer. So I'm just like, I, I'm putting the PS together, but he's telling me what to buy. So I'm just, okay, buying that. <laughs> So yeah, so what I just did is just parenting the TVs to the same as the table. And if the table is visible, we don't want to spawn the TV. So what we're going to do is uh, set the visibility to the TV uh, to the visibility of its parent inverted here. So we get the random TV, get parent, get a Dutch parent, I guess. Uh, get is visible not so if it's not visible this one's going to be visible but if the parent is visible we don't want to show the child so if we do that all the tables are here so it doesn't matter three table okay tables okay that causes another problem here but whatever we have too many TVs anyway, so two TVs. So one table, two tables. Yeah. Um, this is kind of working. At least we don't have like too many things overlapping each other. Hmm, I don't know why if I, there's always at least one T, uh, always one table, even though I specify that I want, there's all, always at least two tables, even though I only want one. Huh, doesn't work pretty well, actually. Oh no, this is the TV count, never mind. Never mind. Ah, that's better. Two, three, four tables, two tables, three tables. Oh, that looks pretty good, I guess, for a basic layout. And then if we move around, it generates a bunch of them. So yeah, that's the basics of it adding conditions here and there to make sure that the stuff doesn't like overlap each other and yeah and then you will be able to have multiple rooms beside each other and then like if two rooms are beside each other you're probably gonna like remove the wall or put a door in it or maybe if you want to have the door here you're not gonna have the table and adding like a different kind of bunch of conditions for that too so yeah that's that's not a complicated project but it's gonna take a bit of time if you want to do a like a big builder thingy but it's pretty interesting i think yeah No, oh, no, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna remove this. <laughs> Fine. Actually, not anytime soon, <laughs> unless every, something weird happens. Like uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, it should be fine. It should be. Uh, it should be available. Uh, maybe I did it a little bit too fast for you, but 
Yeah, I hope not. Uh, maybe I can probably share you the files if you want to. Um, should probably work. I can probably like. Uh, actually, I want to keep these. Here we go. And then this can be like. Yeah. Yeah, Unreal is, is accelerating really uh, like a lot of the process, more traditional process. And I mean, not process, but pipeline. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to share the file with you. Uh, it's like basic house building. Super basic. Because I'm probably going to remove that from the project because this is not like a random project. I want to keep that project. Um, but it's probably... Uh, okay, this should work. This should work. Okay, I'm going to go. Is it these things? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I can probably give you like a project. So yeah, that that's pretty basic and it's not covering everything, but that's a good start, I think. That is a good start. Oh come on, it takes too long to copy. Uh, just gonna do it manually then. I want this and this. Here we go. In the content, I only want basic building. That should work. That, then basic building. Okay, I'm just gonna open the project to see if it opens before giving it to you. Uh, this doesn't matter, that's good. But yeah, using Unreal in the pipeline, it's pretty good to uh, like speed things up.